and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well and today's video is about finding an apartment in Amsterdam. <music> film a video about our personal experience how we found our place if you are in a similar situation and you are moving to Amsterdam I hope I can help you with this video and give you some tips and tricks so the process will be easier for you I really hope the light of the camera is not too dark it's pretty gloomy today and rainy and sometimes you will see rain in the background so don't be bothered by it <laughs> i have also my laptop here so don't be confused when i look down on it because i made some notes so i won't forget anything to mention so yeah let's get started so the first question is what website i recommend using um so we found our place through pararius i hope i pronounce it right i'm not sure <laughs> And there's another site, um, the name is Funda, which is also good, but I mainly used and searched on Pararios. The second question is, what areas do I recommend to live? Um, so there are four areas I really like, we really like. And the first area is Ozud. I will like talk about every area a little bit. So Ozud is a very nice area. Our current apartment is actually in this area. Ozud is known for a more wealthy area. People live here with a little bit more of money. Don't call us in. <laughs> we just got lucky with this space. Um, but yeah, this area is away from the city center of 10 to 15 minutes bike ride and yeah it's very beautiful it's quiet at night we are very happy we are living here it has beautiful restaurants and shops the Wandel park is very close there i'm doing my runs every morning and yeah it's just a very calm and nice area in amsterdam but like i say also pretty pricey and yeah we just got very lucky the second area I would recommend to live is Jordan. If you really love the city life of Amsterdam being close to the city center, it's pretty much the city center. Um, yeah, Jordan is the perfect spot to live. It's edgy, young, a lot of cool shops, a lot of cool restaurants. It's right there. You just have to deal probably with a lot of tourism. Um, if you're okay with that, then the spot is perfect for you. The apartments can be also kind of pricey for what you get. But yeah, the apartments are mainly very small, um, but pricey. Yeah, that's what I can say to Jordan. But I love it. It's really nice. The third spot I can recommend living is... The pipe, I hope I pronounced it right as well. It's six to 10 minutes away from the city center. Always with a bike, I'm mentioning that. <laughs> um, with a tram, it actually takes a little longer, I would think. It's also very nice. A lot of nice restaurants as well. I noticed a lot of vegan places, which is cool. And there's a daily market in the pipe, which is really nice. Also bigger apartments over there. Um, same for Ozud, bigger apartments available, not as small than in um, Jordan. And like old buildings, high ceilings and all that stuff. So if you like places like this, I would recommend you to look over there. And the fourth place I would recommend is Old West. Same for Old West. Bigger apartments, more space, and yeah, high seating apartments. Um, Old West is also very close to the Wonder Park. Yeah, cute shops over there as well. It's a little different to Old Zoot, but it's also very nice and actually sometimes more affordable. 
All right, let's talk about the price point. Um, European cities are in general very expensive. I think big cities in general are expensive. Um, but I just give you an idea what you have to expect to pay. Um, so <laughs> if you want a furnished place, you should expect to pay 1,800 to 2,500 euros without utilities for I would say 50 square meters to 130 square meters I would say <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much what you have to expect to pay and utilities aren't very cheap currently as well so utilities are 150 to 300 euros currently um so yeah just keep that in mind if you are looking for a place without furniture obviously you pay a little less but also not that much less so yeah obviously every apartment has a security deposit as well so mostly it will be two to three months of rent so just keep that in mind as well that you have some money saved okay the next point is viewing appointments and how the process goes um i really hope i'm not too dark right now because a big cloud came and i think a lot of rain will come soon but whatever i hope i'm not too dark anyways viewing appointments are mainly in the morning time and afternoon hours you can reach out on the website to a realtor and ask for an appointment and viewing and to make this process quicker you can also go to the website of the realtor agency and reach out directly on their website or you just call early in the morning and ask for an appointment if you get a quick answer do not try to reschedule because you won't be able to they will give you a time and you have to show up otherwise this apartment will go to someone else if you actually like a place and you would like to put in an offer you should do it directly best case after the viewing don't wait too long don't think about it too long because it will be quickly gone but also keep in mind only because you are the first person which sends in the offer it doesn't mean that you will get the apartment the realtor will save all the offers for the apartment and gives it to the owner of the apartment and then the landlord will decide with which person he will go mostly they pick the person with the most income also heads up on this you might not get the first apartment you put an offer in it took us five tries <laughs> it's pretty hard to actually get a place please don't be too frustrated if you receive knows <laughs> it's just how it is i know it is frustrating and you will be kind of sad but whatever just try to move on quickly and try the next place and yeah just to keep that in mind as well don't be too sad if you get declined so the next question is what do you need for the application slash offer so if you apply for a place Mostly you send one email with all the documents and information. They will be asking you for a copy of your passport from every person which will live with you in this apartment. They will also ask for a document to show your income. If you stay only for a certain amount of time in Amsterdam, it will be good to show them your contract and they will also ask you to send a bio about you your life and yourself so the landlord can imagine you a little bit better <laughs> we also had to film a video for the landlord and talk to him on a video just like that <laughs> Sometimes the landlord even wants to meet you before he decides or you just send him a picture of yourself which helps as well. 
you can only sign a lease for one year. The landlord can have you longer in the apartment, obviously, if he wants to. Um, but the lease will be always only for one year. And also, I have to mention, if you look for a place for longer than two years, it might be a little bit harder because in Amsterdam, they prefer not to have a renter longer than two years. When you are longer in your apartment than two years, you get more rights and the landlord doesn't like that so much. So if you want a place for longer than two years, you should talk about that with the landlord or you should expect to have to search after two years for a new place. So yeah, and when you are viewing a place, I would recommend you to make as many pictures and videos as you want. It's very helpful for your memory because you will be viewing four or five places a day and you will forget what you saw. And yeah, it's just very helpful for your decision. Yeah, I think this is everything what I want to mention about this whole process. Um, I have a few videos coming with showings, places we viewed, so you have an idea how apartments are looking in Amsterdam. There are a lot of different places, places we did not like at all and places we really loved but couldn't get. Anyways, let's get into the apartment viewings and just get a feeling for the Amsterdam apartments and hopefully after that you have an idea what you would like and why not. So this first apartment I was viewing in old suit and we liked it very much. It was kind of small, I think it was 55 square meters, which was fine because it still had enough space and it felt bigger than the amount of square meters. It had also a rooftop which we liked. We put an offer on this one but we couldn't get it. The second apartment was in Old West. We liked this one also very much. It was very pretty and had a rooftop and a balcony which is nice to have. This one was again in Oat Zoot. It was kind of small, it was pretty, but I felt like it was an apartment for one person. So yeah, we did not like this as much as the other ones. This one was again in old suit. It came unfurnished. It was very nice and big, but for us where the furniture are very necessary because we are only staying for two years and the price was kind of high for an unfurnished apartment. So we said no to this one as well. The next apartment was an absolute dream come true. We loved this one so much. It had so much character. It looked like a Paris apartment. It was an old suit as well. It was just beautiful. But yeah, we weren't the only one which were very interested in this one. So sadly, we weren't the lucky owner of this one. <laughs> This one was in Jordan. It was also very pretty, but it was too small for us because John needs his own office space and this one couldn't give this to us. <laughs> we also weren't completely happy with the furniture and the landlord wasn't able to negotiate with us. So yeah, that was the Jordan place. 
This next apartment was in the city center as well. I liked it a lot. John wasn't a big fan of it. He said he feels kind of trapped, which I can see, but I thought it's a very cozy space. And yeah, I loved the bathroom. That was my favorite part. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes you just have different opinions on things and that's how it is. This apartment was in the pipe. It was also very cute and nice. Um, but I don't know, it, we just did not feel it. We liked the balcony though, but it wasn't a place for us. The last place was in the city center again. It was also a very nice one. I loved the floors and the updated kitchen. Actually, the bathroom was updated too and it had two balconies and the balcony, the main balcony was so big and quiet, which was very nice and unusual for the city. Um, but yeah. It was a little bit overpriced for us and yeah this is why we did not go with this one thank you so much for watching this video today um i hope i could help you a little bit and answered a few questions i hope you will have an easier process with a search now if you have any other questions feel free to comment i will be happy to answer them see you in the next video Bye and good luck!